The Diamondbacks trade for Starling Marte from the Pirates. The Diamondbacks are having an uh, interesting offseason. They had a winning year last year, but they missed the playoffs by two games. And uh, I was trying to read, uh, like I, I've said this many times, I, I, I can't figure out if, if this matters. Like, if anything the Diamondbacks has done is actually going to give them the edge. My gut feeling says no, but I'm reading a lot of people saying, like, actually they're doing very smart moves. They're putting together a nice squad. And I don't know if that's Diamondbacks fans or not. But Marte's now going to be their center fielder? Jimmy. Yeah. Let me talk to you about my Arizona Diamondbacks, baby. Kettle Marte is going to go to second base full time. What's going on here, Jake? So here's here's what we need to do. And I did a Super Bowl Sunday hungover deep dive on the Arizona Diamondbacks. What what a rush, man. Um, so okay. So here's here's what you need to do. The the top end talent, it's it is Kettle Marte. He had a nut season, like a, a seven war season last year. Um, so there's some juice ball rumors around him, but he's a young, really good player. So it's going to be interesting to see, uh, how special of a season he can put up. Can he follow that up at all? Cause it, I mean, it really was a crazy year. The dude, 32 home runs, 329 batting average and 981 OPS. So they don't have much of star power unless you believe Cattell Marte and he is their star. So if you buy into that, that's where things get fun, man. So, Jim, here's something you're going to like. In the past two years, the Diamondbacks have traded away significant players, and they've gotten decent returns for them. They traded Goldschmidt the year before, and then they traded Grinky last year. So they got three guys in each of those trades. Some dudes are starting to contribute. Carson Kelly, 24-year-old catcher last year, 18 home runs, an 826 OPS in 111 games played. You can get a little excited about that. Good young catcher. They got some pitching. Robbie Ray, he's in his contract year. It'll be interesting to see what he can put together. They signed Mad Bum, Jim. And I, I know that whole thing seemed bizarre because Mad Bum signed there because of his horses. But if you're Arizona, you're excited about this. This is a dude who's proven I, I mean he's not as special as he once was but he's gonna throw you some innings maybe he could teach Robbie Ray a couple lefty tricks Luke Weaver he's a guy they got in one of those trades 12 starts last year 294 ERA the Diamondbacks have a lot of depth they don't necessarily have a hole on their team you have to talk yourself into the star power but, I mean, Eduardo Escobar is a guy that, if you watch him play, he's real fun. Uh, Starling Marte is a good ball par player. Nick Ahmed, UConn guy, Jim. He had a special warrior last year. They can throw a lot of different dudes at you. They've got young guys on the way from those past two trades I mentioned. So, if you're a Diamondbacks fan, you're saying, what, we won 84 games last year? 85 games last year. We signed Mad Bum. We got Starling Marte. And the guys they lost, uh, they lost Alex Avila, who I mentioned, uh, our young catcher, who we now like for them. You're losing J Jared Dyson, who became somewhat of a role player for them. Steven Sousa Jr. I mean, we're not talking significant guys, and we brought in some real dudes. I got myself excited about my Diamondbacks over the weekend.